Today, in the lead up to Canberra's officially 101st birthday, we gather to celebrate an exciting moment in Canberra's history, to seal the centenary time capsule and to unveil this magnificent, striking, eight and a half metre tall Canberra centenary column. I'm immensely proud as Chairman of Canberra CBD Limited to inform this gathering that this magnificent column, sculptured by Canberra artist Jeff Farquhar Still, is a gift to the people of Canberra by the property owners of the city, Braddon and Turner. This has been an extraordinary opportunity for me. As a Canberra artist to actually win this commission it was a really special moment. This city has a wonderful story, a unique story with a grand foundation narrative, and we've only just begun to shout it from the rooftops. Today, on Canberra's 101st birthday, minus a day, we have not one, but two carefully nurtured centenary year legacy projects, courtesy of the community spirit of the Canberra CBD Limited. This column is reminiscent of imperial symbolism, intended for a Canberra commencement column, yet reflects contemporary Canberra, with images of the city's historic buildings merging with those of the natural landscape etched on each of its stainless steel facets. There's plenty to see. I tried to do the graphics in a way where it, from a distance it just you read the form. You could just see the object itself and then as you approached the image would, would start to arise out of the surface. One of the um, wishes I, I hope comes true from having the centenary column and the time capsule here is that more people um, take their life in their hands and cross the road and, uh, and come and enjoy this park. In terms of what's in the, um, the time capsule, there is a number plate, there is a parking ticket, which is going to be very cheap in 100 years. I'll just flag that. They'll be saying, gosh, why didn't they charge more? There's parts of our history, there's letters from politicians, there's letters from community leaders all describing in their own view what, what it is about Canberra in 2014. Uh, and I know that when it's opened uh, in 2113 on our 200th birthday, the city will be very different. But this will give a picture of what Canberra was like on its 100th birthday year. So on this beautiful morning, happens every time we've got a special occasion in this city, I'm certain, on this beautiful morning, the city of Canberra gets to attend to some unfinished business. The time capsule will give citizens of 2113 a few slices, many slices, of life a century earlier. This column, almost exactly the height O'Malley wanted, which we discovered this morning, symbolically connects the surprises and incredibilities of Canberra's past to the achievements, innovations and adventures of its future.